So I got curious and I decided to buy a few things from the new Revolution Mood Switch collection. I know, I hardly ever try Revolution on my channel. I don't know exactly why. Usually they don't really interest me a lot. Usually, usually I just don't pay a lot of attention to them. But when they came out with this collection, I was intrigued. So. I'm gonna be trying an eyeshadow palette from Revolution. I don't think I have tried an eyeshadow palette from Revolution in like five, six years, maybe. And I also have a few other things from this collection. So let's get into it. All right, so this collection is kind of based on like holographic um, makeup, but it doesn't have holographic makeup. It is more kind of like iridescent makeup, but I was very, interested to see what their take on that would be and if they could do kind of like shifty sparkly eyeshadows i think the interest really started here with this hyper real eyeshadow palette this has shades for the eyes and the face i feel like this and this maybe are meant more as a i will open it up so you can see i feel like this one is kind of meant as a like glowy blush it's a little bit more sheer than the smaller pants. And this one maybe could be used as a highlighter. I feel like it is meant to be used a little bit like all over. And then the actual eyeshadows in here have different textures. Some of these are more like smooth. Some of these are more chunky. Um, I swatched it and it really is going to depend like how this is going to look on the eyes. If I'm going to like this, like the swatches. It didn't tell me much yet. I feel like there's some potential here. I did see some shine. I did see some shimmer, but it's really gonna be the eye look that I'm gonna do. So we're gonna get into that soon. But first I wanted to show you other things. We also have a blush from Revolution. This is the Neo Pink Blusher. This looks like a very like bright baby doll pink. Maybe not baby doll, like a bright pink. Um, this seems very, I don't know if this blush color is still on trend, like it feels very 2023, but definitely is based on that Dior blush. I mean, the embossing also looks a little bit like the Dior blush. We're gonna try it out. And then we have the Revolution Prism Pressed Powder. This one I was expecting to be a highlighter. It was described on the web shop where I bought it as a highlighter, but when I swatched it, I was confused. It looks kind of matte, but it also could be that it becomes more glowy on the cheeks. We're gonna try it out as a highlighter, but I don't know if it really is or if, is it more like a satiny highlighter. I'm not really sure. The colors in here look really interesting. It's kind of like when you see the light bounce off like, an, like a water bubble. It's kind of like bluish, light, kind of like creamish and pink. So we're gonna see if this is gonna be a highlighter. Then I got one of three pH reacting lip products. I personally am not like a huge pH reacting lip product person. I just haven't really found ones that I really like. I feel like I do like pink lip products, but usually they're just a little thin. I want something a little bit more hydrating, but we're gonna see if this is gonna be good. I quite like the packaging of this one. I bought the pink shade, but there's also like a sheer white-ish one and then a more cherry darker one. And then lastly from this collection we have the, or I didn't buy everything from the collection, but I bought most things. This is the Aura Luminizer Face and Body Liquid Illuminator. This is very liquidy, very glowy. It is an iridescent like purpley pinkish liquid highlighter. We're gonna be trying it out as well. And yeah, let's just zoom in and get into an eye look. All right, I'm already wearing some eye primer. I just want to smear this all over my eyes and see if I like it. I don't even know what look I really want to do. I'm thinking I kind of want to start out with this purple shade. Uh, it's a little crumbly. Like you have to be really careful when you pick that up. Sorry for all the screaming if you hear it. Children are playing outside okay i'm just gonna start out with this why is that kind of cute i actually quite like that okay okay it's a bit of a duochrome like shiny kind of textured shade it also still has something a little soft about it you have to be a little careful when applying 
That is really interesting. I think I quite liked it. I think now I want to go in with a little bit of that more like light blue shade. I really hope I can edit out all the screaming. This always happens when the weather gets nice, people go outside. <laughs> and they start making noise. Okay, that is kind of cute as well. I quite like that. I quite like it. Uh, let's do a little over here as well. These are definitely shadows that I feel will work the best with a finger, applied with a finger. Okay, let's see how many of these I can apply on the eyes before I start to look crazy. I want to put the highlighter in the inner corner. It seemed to be very interesting in a swatch. It had kind of like multicolor shimmer to it, which I think is gonna be really cute. I don't know if I would use it on the face. By the way, this one is very like soft and kind of putty. I hope I can kind of pick it up with my pencil brush. Yeah, I feel like a finger would be better, but for the inner corner, I like to be precise. It is pretty cute. I'm gonna see if I can apply a little with my finger. I used to do this Ooh, a long, long time ago, I used to apply my inner corner highlighter with my finger. Now I feel my nails a little too long for that. I blend it a little. Very interesting. I feel like that does really pop. All right, let's continue. What else can we do? I think I'm gonna put this one, I'm gonna try and put that one on the lower lash line. Let's see if that is gonna work out. Let's see if this wants to be picked up with a brush okay sometimes with really affordable makeup i need some time to think before i really tell you how i feel like with most makeup i need some time to think and i always come back with new makeup updates speed reviews but i feel like especially with affordable makeup i need some time to think because sometimes I'm just really impressed by the fact that something is cheap and actually works. Like, especially with brands where I feel like usually their eyeshadow formulas are not my favorite. If they then do something that is like nice and cute in my eyes, I am very easily excited. But I feel like these are really nice shimmers so far. I do feel like this is working out so far. Like there's a shine, there's some dual chrome, there's some interest here. I think so far this is a really cute palette. I do wanna, I wanna try kind of like the mint green because this was more of a satin shade. It's almost, it feels like a cream eyeshadow. I wanna apply a little over here. Oh, I think that looks really cute. That's really, really nice. Should I just apply this more so in the crease? Yes. I usually don't really do all shimmer looks. But I think we're gonna do that today. I was thinking before that I would bring in some matte at the end, but I am feeling it. I'm really feeling it. Just a little difficult with my nails to apply. I do feel like this eyeshadow is so creamy that I'm gonna go through that pretty quickly if I keep using this consistently. And with all of these shadows, I kind of feel like they are very soft and I feel like you can hit pat on this pretty fast. So this is the eye look. I'm gonna keep it at this, maybe add a little bit of an eyeliner, but I am actually pleasantly surprised. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit more makeup and then we can continue on with the other products. I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of into this look. I'm kind of liking it more and more. I applied some mascara, a little bit of a shadow liner, brows, a little bit of bronzer. And now we have some products for the cheeks. And I'm thinking I want to apply the Aura Luminizer first because it's so liquidy. I don't think that this is going to work over top of a blush. I just don't think that's going to work. Um, I'm going to try and pick up the tiniest bit because it's so liquidy. And it's in a little really went a long way in the swatch. So I'm going to take just a tiny bit and use it for both cheeks. And... Blend it out with kind of like a synthetic highlighter brush. Okay, that is very glowy and very 
shifty maybe it took a little much on the other side here it becomes a little bit more natural and i quite like that okay, here it's very very glowy and here is like the more natural version just gonna try and take a little to kind of match the side just a little I personally do like a little bit of a purplish highlighter and I feel like if a highlighter is kind of like pinkish purple then it's quite wearable depending on what blush you're gonna wear with it. I think with this one it's really like so far so good. It looks pretty cute. When you look up close it seems to have kind of like a, a little bit of a shimmer in it but not in a way that is too like chunky or very unnatural looking what do we think i think i like it i'm just gonna let it dry a little because it does dry down and then we're gonna apply yeah how we're gonna do it i think i'm gonna try this aura powder on the forehead i just don't believe that this is a true highlighter but we're gonna see if it adds a glow on the forehead Let's do that first. I'm gonna take another brush and I'm gonna take a little. Let's apply that here. I just feel like that's mattifying, basically. I don't even feel like that did much. I just feel like there's a little shimmer on this brush and that made this look a little shimmery. Do I have a clean brush? This doesn't seem to have any shimmer on it. Let's apply a little more. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like a setting powder. Honestly, seems like I could set my face with this. Let's apply over here. That seems maybe a finishing powder, but it is like at most what this is gonna be. This is not a highlighter. Just gonna see if I apply a little here. Did that make any pores disappear? I also don't know about that. I don't, I don't know about this. I don't know about this product. What is this supposed to be? It just says press powder. But you could interpret that in different ways. Like a pressed powder could be like a pressed shiny powder or it could be a pressed matte powder. It just says press powder. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit of a setting powder. I don't feel like this is really a product that you need from this collection honestly i don't really understand then we have the blush that looks like the dior blush to be honest the more i look at it the more i think it all right let's grab a blush brush and it looks quite pigmented but at the same time i feel like it's gonna be quite a light shade so let's apply yeah it's pigmented but blendable like it's not too pigmented at least for my skin tone uh, now of course it's not that easy to see what the actual finish of this one is because it's really like mixing with that highlighter i feel like it's a little bit of a satin time type of blush i think that looks pretty cute i have to try it out on its own for sure to really make up my mind but so far it looks cute but i just i see mostly the highlighter honestly at this point okay the last product from this collection is gonna be the ph reacting lip balm i don't oh this is a shade kiss pink and i do hope that this is gonna be cute i still have a little bit of a lip balm on i'm gonna remove that and let's apply the balm there is a hint of cheap plasticky makeup in this but at the same time it smells kind of nice i mean when I started applying it, I did smell vanilla, but then the kind of like cheapiness of the scent started becoming more apparent. I don't mind the scent of this. Like, I feel like it's fine. It feels quite nice on the lips. It's a little thicker than a lot of the pH reacting lip balms that I have tried. I feel like it also looks quite nice. It is not super shiny. This is not like a super shiny balm. I feel like it doesn't become like super pink. It's quite subtle. It does do a little, there's a little bit of a change. I could also see it in the hand swatch. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of a lip liner and then that's gonna be it for the look. All right, so this is gonna be the finished look and I have to be honest, I am impressed. I feel I kind of had this hunch, I kind of had this feeling like 
maybe this collection could be something interesting to try and I feel like that came true. There was just something about it and I still feel like there's something about it. This is an interesting collection and I actually quite like how how my look came out. I quite like it. I quite enjoy it. I feel like it is a cute look and I like my makeup. Uh, let's quickly go over the products, like kind of recap. And uh, let's start with the star of the show, the eyeshadow palette. I haven't tried all of the shades, but I actually feel like there's a lot of potential here. And it's a bit hard to open though. I always think that's annoying, but I also have tweezers nearby. Um, I really like the eyeshadow, it's shiny. There's some dimension here. Some of them are a little bit duochrome Some have a little bit of shimmer. I wouldn't say that this is like Odin's eye. I wouldn't say that this is a like indie shimmer, but it, they are very nice eyeshadows so far. Like I gonna be wearing it, gonna see if it's gonna crease or what, or if there's gonna be anything with the wear, but I really like this, just for what it is. It is shiny, it looks cute, it is flattering on the eye. Um, I, I actually really enjoy this so far. It is just not that super PC kind of like flaky formula, but it, it looks nice, I like it. Now we have the pressed powder, the one in Prism. I don't really understand. I think it's gonna be more of a like finishing powder. I feel like it's gonna be something like that. I do feel like it kind of mattified the forehead a little bit but not like too matte it's kind of like this satiny setting powder in my opinion i'm gonna be trying it out like that i'm gonna be treating it like that and see if i like it like that i feel like the forehead looks good with this it looks nice but it's not a highlighter then we have the blush i do have to say on the cheeks the liquid highlighter is, is still in the show it looks really nice it looks really glossy and glowy and it just adds a little bit of a shift to the cheeks. I feel like this one is a little bit the thing that gave it some color, more of a base color. I think this is gonna be a cute one. I think so far it looks good, but yeah, I have to use it kind of like as the base of a highlighter to see what it is before I add all the glow. The highlighter, you have to be a little careful. Like don't take too much, just take a little drop and apply it to both the cheeks because it is very like liquidy, pigmented. Um, I really like it so far though. I think it looks really nice on the cheeks. It looks kind of like glossy. It does have a shimmer to it, but not really at the same time. Like it's not really the type of shimmer where you can see individual shimmer pieces. It's more kind of like, if you look really up close, it's kind of like this, sh this feel of shimmer, which I totally don't mind. Yeah, really with this one, so far so good. I really like it so far i also i just like a little bit of a like purpley highlighter but yeah i think it looks good it looks natural it's purple but it looks natural and then lastly we have the balm so far i think it feels really nice and i do like the lip look that i create with this um i feel like this has some potential as well like i don't love ph reacting lip products because because we have so many but at the same time i feel like i can't really escape them and i keep trying them but i feel like this might be one of my most favorite ones like it's subtle but it looks good it makes my lips look good feel good and there's potential here i could be convinced by this one and yeah that's gonna be everything for today's video thanks so much for watching don't forget to like the video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you're picking up anything from this collection. And yeah, then I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.